Welcome to Idea Statica. So, you got your hands on a trial version. Awesome! We certainly hope you like it, and we want you to have the best possible user experience. Now, if you have already installed the software, you probably see a shortcut in your desktop that looks like this. This opens the main Idea Statica application from where you have access to all the individual applications, such as Idea Connection, Idea Concrete, and so on. This video is a quick intro to Idea Connection that guides you through the interface and the main sections of the software. If you want to explore more learning material, such as tutorials, user guides, FAQs, etc., you can click this link that will take you to our resource center. So, let's open Idea Connection. And in order to give you a quick overview of what a finished project looks like, we are going to use one of the examples we have used on our website, www.ideastatica.uk. We're going to navigate to Downloads and scroll down where you can see all the free examples you can use. I'm going to use the first one, which I have already downloaded. Feel free, of course, to download any other project that you want to use. Going back to Idea Statica, I'm going to open the project. And here it is. Now, let's go through the main sections of the interface. The Navigator is where you'll find all the different modules of the software. Essentially, it is created in a top to bottom sequence of steps, which you normally follow during a project. Then we have the dynamic ribbon, which is displaying tools that are relevant to the selected module in the navigator. The data and properties window, which displays information of the selected elements and which we use to enter all the parameters. And, of course, the 3D animation window, where you can visualize and manipulate the connection. So, first of all, we start with the geometry. This is where we define the members and their properties the cross-sections, orientation, size, etc. You can see the list of all the members, and by choosing one, you can view and change its properties. For example, we can change the angle of this member to 50 degrees or the offset to minus 70 millimeters. And of course, we can add additional members by clicking this plus button. Let's go ahead and add one member from another direction. Then we go to load effects, where we need to define at least one set of internal forces on the members so that we can run the analysis. Since we added a new member, let's add an axial force to it. By clicking the plus button, we can also add a new set of load effects. Alternatively, we can import load effects from an Excel file by using the import function. The third step is the design module, where we define all the manufacturing operations. Essentially, this is where we choose how to connect all the members of the connection and perform any modification on them, or add stiffening elements. In the list, you can see all the operations that have been defined. So, let's add one more, since we need to connect the new member we created. For this, I'm going to use the cut operation, which also creates the weld automatically. After everything is defined properly, we go to the check module, where we perform the analysis and checking of the connection. When the analysis is finished, we can see the overall check that tells us if the connection has passed. we can look deeper into the results for all the elements of the connection, such as the plates, the bolts, and the welds.
In the ribbon, we can also find different analysis results such as the strain check, the equivalent stress, and the plastic strain. These are visualized on the 3D model. Finally, we have the bill of material, where we can have a detailed list of the materials used in the model and the automated drawings. We also have another set of modules that have to do with the output of the calculation and different methods of exporting the report. And another one that contains all the libraries of materials and the elements that are used in the project. Now it's time for you to try creating your own project. If you need any help during the trial, feel free to send us an email. We are always glad to help. Thank you for watching this, and most importantly, have fun with Idea Statica.